Oh my goodness, I'm now live. This is very exciting. Let's see, we're telling your followers that you've started a live video. Fantastic. Um, hi everybody. Okay, now I'm getting how this works. You guys, I've never done this before. This is my very first Instagram live. So we're all in this together. You know, bear with me as I figure this out. I'm seeing that you can type to me and then I can talk back to you. So, um, oh my goodness, I, my bestie just joined Small Sims, my orangey lime. She's my redheaded friend on Instagram, who you guys might have seen. Um, so she is gonna help me out because I don't know how to like sign and type at the same time. So she's gonna help like drop my link in, the Streamly link into the chat for those of you who need it. Which brings me to why we're here. We're doing this awesome signing. And I just want to say a huge thanks to all of you who jumped on ahead of time and bought prints. Um, I got them all here and I'm so excited to sign them for you. Um, you guys have some really funny requests. Um, and I love seeing what characters speak to you. Um, so it's just really cool. So anyway, if you haven't had a chance to check out the shop and you think you might want to buy a print, it's streamily.com slash Rachel, spelled wrong. It's R-A-C-H-E-L in the link. And if you know me, you know I'm an A-E-L. Um, anyway, streamily.com slash Rachel McFarlane. So, um, cool, let's get started. Um, this first one is an Owl House print, and it doesn't say who it's for, but it does request a funny quote. And the quote is, girlfriend, oh no, no, that won't do. We'll find you a new girlfriend, one who isn't on wanted posters everywhere. Yes, there's Odalia. So bear with me while I write all of that on this beautiful print. Okay, here we go. Isn't this fun? Can you guys hear my music in the background? I'm a huge fan of Charlie Brown Christmas. Oh, no, 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 no. That won't do. We'll find you a new girlfriend. I promise you they don't all have huge quotes like this. Find you a new girlfriend. One who isn't unwanted posters everywhere. All right, and I will sign it for whoever this is for. Thank you for being a Owl House fan. I love Owl House. I love my Owl House fans. So here's this first one for you mystery person. There we go. All right. Oh, wait, I have to do, see, I'm totally new at this, so I forgot I need to put a number on it. Okay, there we go. All right, next we have Sam Kretzner is my next person here. So Sam, we're doing a family guy on Olivia. So Sam says, please put a quote on it and use a colorful pun. How about blue, Sam? All right. I'm, I guess I'm seeing how this works. Okay, I'm seeing hearts coming up. That's lovely. I heart all of you too. I wish there was a way that we could like talk, but this will have to do. All right, for Sam, please put a quote on it and use a colorful pen. How about... <clears throat> Thank goodness I've got you, right? That was Olivia's song. Thank goodness I've got you, Sam. All right, for Sam. Thank goodness I've got you. There we go. I'll sign it over here. It's a squeaky pen. All right, there we go. Isn't that lovely? There it is. 
Thank you, Sam. Thanks for being a Family Guy fan. The old school stuff. All right. Let's see, what do we have next? <gasps> Odalia, more Odalia. Love our Odalia. This is for Rodrigo. Write down your favorite Odalia quote. Oh, Rodrigo, my favorite Odalia quote. Oh, let's see, probably, um, what do you think? Honestly, you should be thanking me, darling. I like that one. Let's go with silver on this for Rodrigo. I'm hearing people in the background. Little creatures rummaging through the pantry. All right, and this is five. And this is for Rodrigo. And let's do, honestly, you should be thanking me. Silver looks very good with us. All right, there we go. I hope you like it. I love the Owl House. I miss the Owl House. It's such a good show. I love how many of you love it too. It was like, I feel like I got as many Owl House requests um, as I did American Dad, which is amazing because American Dad has been on for 18 years, something like that. And Owl House was, you know, just a little bit. And yet everybody, it spoke to everybody. And I, I love that. Okay, next, Andrea. Andrea, Family Guy, OG Family Guy. There we go, another Olivia. Special instructions, none, Andrea. So I'm just gonna make it out to you from me. I feel like, how does this work? Angelan, say something to me. Can you like do that? I just want to see how it works. No, nope. I don't know. Okay, I see wave. What happens if I press wave? Look, I just waved at you. That's so fun. Okay, now I'm gonna to wave to this person. I'm gonna to wave to this person. There, fantastic, okay. Back to the business at hand. To Andrea. For Andrea. I would sing a little of Olivia for you, but I can't because I have this cold that everybody has. <clears throat> Don't think I could hit those high notes right now. All right. Here we go. Beautiful family guy for Andrea. Lovely. All right, who is next? Rodrigo? Rodrigo, why does that sound familiar? Rodrigo, have I signed one for you? Rodrigo, write down your favorite Odalia quote. Okay, well, it's this one now, a different print. And let's see. Really, Mittens, I am tired of all this drama. How about that? For Rodrigo, I'm gonna use the black pen. For Rodrigo. Really, Mittens. Every once in a while, I call my own kids mittens. Just a mess with mittens. It's time for school. Hurry up. Really, mittens. I am tired of all this drama. All right. What do you think of that? Beautiful. All right. And 
And oh my goodness, Matthew Carson. Matthew Carson, are you here? Wanting a Mandy? No, a Mindy. A Mindy from the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. I mean, oh my goodness. And I love it. You say a greeting from Mindy on the live stream would be great. Thanks for all the laughs. You are welcome for all the laughs. It was such a fun show to work on. Oh my God, Mindy. She was the worst, right? Matthew, you loser. <laughs> there you go. That's like her favorite thing to do is to call people losers. Um, okay, let me make this out to you, Matthew. So funny story about the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. I, you know, when, you, when you're doing voiceover and you get a character, you create the character voice. And so for whatever reason, you know, I was young at the time. I was in my early 20s. I put Mindy's voice in the stratosphere, not really realizing that the records were going to be at nine in the morning when if you're a singer or a performer, you know your, your voice isn't really quite like working the way it's supposed to at that point. And it was so hard. I was always like, oh my God, how do I get all the way up here? Yep. That's why Eris was a little bit more fun. Matthew. Matthew with two T's. Matthew Carson. And there she is. Good. I feel like I'm missing something on this on this thing, you guys. Like like, oh my God, here we go. Wait, I guess, doesn't it? <sighs> How does this work? Because now I'm scrolling and I'm seeing all your comments, but I thought that it just scrolled automatically, but I guess I have to scroll. Okay, let me see. Oh, you're saying hello and someone's saying Mindy. Okay, see, I like this better because it feels like more of an interaction. All right. Oh, my Andre Lime says I'm killing it. That's great. Hey there. Oh, what if Haley and Mindy met each other? What would that be like? I don't think they would get along. Oh my God, here's somebody saying, can you say hi to me as number 362? Sorry guys, as I said, I'm totally new to this Instagram live thing. So I didn't realize that I had to be the one to like move the thing. Yes, who is this, David? As number 362, David, I'd love to say hello to you this evening. There you go, it's been a while since I've done that voice. Um, you have a question, do... Do you and Seth remember Showbiz Pizza Place? Kind of. That's definitely kind of striking something. It's Chris. We met at Rhode Island Comic Con and Terrific on. Hi, Chris. My goodness, this is so cool. Um, oh, and here's somebody saying that's wild hearing you talk because I think of Haley. I know. I know. Did you know that that was, it was funny when I, when I first auditioned for the show, and I was like, do you want me to do a character? What do you want her to sound like? And they were like, no, we just want her to sound like you. Just be you. So she's just me. Oh, and someone says, I look amazing. Thank you. I will take it. Even cold and all. Deets on the lip color. This is NARS. Um, and it's their lip crayon. Um, and I can't remember what the name of it is. But if you like red, their red in Cruella is my favorite red ever. Somebody saw me in Chattanooga. Oh, and I made your 15th birthday. That's awesome. Will this live stream be saved? Yes, I think it will. Um, oh my God. Look at this. All these people. Okay, I guess I should start signing again. Um, oh my goodness, there's so many of you. <gasps> I love you so much too. I love Linus and Lucy too. Oh my God. Okay. I this, See, this I'm really liking this part of it, just scrolling through and seeing everything that you have to say. Okay, getting on with it. Matthew Carson, you are complete. Okay, next, this is for Sam. It's another, oh, I'm better than my brother. Who are you and do you wanna to come to my house for dinner? Um, okay, I'm doing another Olivia here. A colorful paint pen. Um, I think we're gonna stick with the blue. It matches the family guy, right? Um, 
Okay, I wanna look more. Hello, Seth's sister. Hello, hello. It's on delay. Um, somebody, okay. This video is definitely delayed. Oh, it is? I'm sorry, you guys. I don't, I don't know what to do to fix that. Apologies. Um, Haley, yes, hi. Okay. You're so cool, you're so cool. My voice sounds like Mary Poppins. That's very sweet of you, darling. All right, this is for Sam. I'm sorry it's on delay. I don't even know what that means or looks like. Maybe it's like my car that always sounds like it's echoing. I hope it's not like echoing. For Sam. And a quote, another quote from Olivia. What, what is a good Olivia quote? What did she say? Um, Shut up, you egotistical jerk. Is that a little bit mean for a quote? Right, maybe. Mm-hmm. But whoever, Sam might think that's kind of funny. Hello from North Hollywood. Hello, somebody from North Hollywood. Um, okay. Oh, these are so fun. Mindy was me. Yes, I'm a better singer than my brother. Wow, this is really fun. Okay, Sam, I'm gonna just think that you're gonna want the funny quote of her saying, shut up, you egotistical jerk. So we're gonna go with that. You know what was funny? It was me trying to figure out how to spell egotistical just then. I think I did it okay. There we go. Oh my God, this pen is so squeaky. Okay, here's for Sam, the colorful pen. There we go. And that I'm gonna put, okay, while that dries, I'm gonna scroll down and keep seeing what is this person saying? Oh, you love my voice. Thank you. Um, you have a huge crush on my brother. <sighs> I know I get that a lot. He wasn't as cute when we were kids. He's definitely come into his own. Um, he is so handsome. Yes, he is now. Can I do a Seth impersonation? Oh, hi, Rich. That's Seth impersonating our dad. Um... All right, that was me, Codename Kids Next Door. Hello, you're watching me in the UK. You're better than your brother. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Uh, I don't know if you saw, but uh, let's see. Oh my goodness. Hello from Arizona. Hi, Arizona. You hear Haley's voice from American Dad? Yep. You, <laughs> you looked, Megan, you looked up my age. It's okay, it's all over the internet. 47, Megan, 47, my goodness. What did I enjoy the most about being on Kids Next Door? Um, well, Tom Warburton was a friend of mine when I was a production assistant at Cartoon Network. And so it was super fun working with him. And it's funny because I worked on that show with Dee Bradley Baker, who's obviously Klaus on American Dad. So we've been working for a while. And that's where I met a lot of my VO friends, like Cree, Summer, and Great Delisle, and... And uh, it was a it was a blast. Codename Kids Next Door was a blast. That's one of those shows that I would be like, God, it'd be so fun if they would um, you know, bring that back for like a little reunion or something. It'd be awesome. All right, there's that one done. And now I'm gonna look at what you're saying. I love you too. Am I also friends with Liz Gillies? I mean, I've met her, but no, I, I we we are not we are not good pals. Um. How's my, how is my dad's wife doing? You guys are so sweet to ask. She's actually doing really well. Um, and she's like top of the kidney transplant list. So um, everything is, is actually great with her. Um, oh my goodness, whoops, sorry. Um, oh, my hair color, thank you. I have an awesome hairdresser right now. Um, Mindy from the Grim Adventures, a billion Mindy, yes. Um, okay, more, more, more. Oh my goodness, look at this. It's our first. Haley. Here she is. Um, and this is for Judah. No instructions, Judah. None. So I'm just going to sign it for you. Um, can you guys believe that we are currently recording season 
18 of American Dad. Isn't that nuts? My God. I was, I was not 47 when that show started. Let me tell you something. It's so funny too. Um, you're a better singer than Adele. I think that's pushing it. <laughs> but thanks for the sentiment. Um, when we started American Dad, none of us wore glasses. And now when we do table reads 18 years later, we all like get out our glasses and put them on because we're so old. Um, oh my goodness. What is this? Um, I'm just Seth, but cuter. <laughs> You guys are amazing. Oh my God, corn relish girl. Hi. I wish you were sitting next to me. I can't wait to do another convention with you. You guys, I've had so much fun doing these conventions this year. And I love that I can do this for those of you who can't come out. But if I'm in your city, I would love to meet you. One of the best things about the conventions is meeting all of the people that have helped us be able to stay on the air for, uh, the air for all these years. And my appreciation and gratitude for you uh, knows no bounds. So it is really such a treat to get to actually meet everybody in person. So um, I'm going to be in a lot of different cities next year. So keep an eye on, on this Instagram page. And um, yeah, hopefully we can actually meet. My dad is so cute. Oh my God, he is adorable. Um, can I say Bryson Robinson as heiress? Bryson Robinson as heiress. There you go, Bryson. How was that? Um, Odalia is the best Disney villain. Can't disagree with you there. Um, oh my goodness. Okay, sorry, I could just keep, I, could, I like this. This is how we chat. Okay, sorry, I gotta sign this. Judah, what am I doing? I'm getting distracted. This American Dad print is for Judah. And um, guys, I think I might've mentioned this at the top, but if for whatever reason you want a print, you didn't get a chance to order one, it's um, streamily.com slash Rachel, R-A-C-H-E-L, McFarlane, spelled wrong. All right. How am I doing? Is this going well? <laughs> I'm having fun. So that's good. I hope you all are too. Okay, Judah, this one's for you. Um, did I put the number on the back? I did. And next we have another, oh no, this is, no, I did that one. Okay, sorry, I'm talking too much. Another, another Haley for Rue. And Rue says, doodle a smiley face or something that I enjoy. You know what I enjoy for my Haley's Rue? Peace signs, right? Because that's Haley. You and Seth are wonderful singers. That's how you pronounce Gray's last name. Yeah, Delisle. Not Deslizel or whatever. Delisle. Yeah, Gray Delisle. Um, they should bring back Kids Next Door. Oh my God, you guys, I feel like I'm really behind on all of these. Hello from Kansas City, Missouri. Hello. Um, do you remember voicing female pedestrians in the Incredible Hulk game? <laughs> don't but if you say I did I believe you American Dad oh American Dad helped me when my dog died so thank you you're welcome my goodness I'm sorry about your dog I do an awesome job as Haley thank you what is it like working with my brother on the show it's a blast when we get to do it he's so busy doing Orville and now the new Ted prequel and everything that, um, you know, we don't, we don't get to work together as much as we used to, but um, we always have a really good time when we do. 47 isn't old. I like that, I like that, Megan. Can I come to Tampa? I don't know if I'm coming to Tampa next year, but I know I'm coming to Pensacola. And I mean, it's in the same state, right? Just drive up and go to the left. Um, all right, hi from Vegas. Hi, Vegas. Um, does Seth want to stop Family Guy? I don't think so. No, we just had a table read for Family Guy today that was absolutely hilarious. It was written by Maggie Mall, and um, we had everybody there for the first time in forever. It was um, Mila and Alex and Patrick Warburton and um, Jennifer Tilly, and it was so much fun. Um, so no, there's no way that show can end ever, right? It's gonna be on for the rest of our lives. Are you going to sing us a jazz standard? Hmm, probably not, probably not tonight. Just cause I'm, <clears throat> got 
This little cold Rachel doing stuff that no other Rachel has done before. That's right. Oh, this is so fun. I did do, I did do Wonder Woman. Okay, I gotta get back to this. Um, here we go. This is for Rue. I'm gonna switch out my Sharpie because this one isn't as sharp as the Sharpie should be. For Rue. You guys, I'm sorry I didn't get the hang of this in the beginning. That must have been so boring when I was just like signing stuff. But now I know. So the next time we do it, I get it. I understand how we how we interact on Instagram Live. It's a huge learning curve. I really should have gotten my 14 year old down here to show me how to do it because I bet they know exactly how to do it. All right, here we go for Rue. There you go, Rue. Little Haley Smith action for you. All right, what do we have? Oh, guys, we got a first code name Kids Next Door. Number 362. So as I was saying, Tom Warburton, Mr. Warburton, was a good friend of mine. Um, and he named number 362 Rachel after me, Supreme Leader of the Codename Kids Next Door, which was a really, really cool, cool thing. Do you know if you're coming to Atlanta, Georgia? God, I've never done Atlanta. I've done Savannah a couple times, and I think I'm doing Savannah again next year, but I don't know about Atlanta. It's not that far, right? Four hours. Um, will you beat the Mohe Mohegan Sun? Mohegan Sun was so fun over the summer. I don't know. We'll have to see. Whoops. Sorry. I keep hitting the, the wrong button. Am I good friends with the Family Guy cast? Yeah, I mean, we've been doing it for so long. So long, you guys. I was... Oh God, um, I don't know, 22, 23 when we started Family Guy. So yeah, you do, you work with people for that long. And yes, is Seth a fun uncle? Does he want kids? I don't, I can't answer the second part of that. But yes, he's a very fun uncle. The kids love him. Um, what was it like being part of on Sophia the First? I loved doing Sophia the First. It was so fun. I got to sing a song, which was one of the best things. Um, it was a blast. And also my kids at the time, you know, they couldn't watch Family Guy, American Dad and Robot Chicken and the other adult stuff that I do. And so they could watch Sophia the First. And that's what was really fun about doing Fancy Nancy too, is that they could watch those shows. Um, I don't think I would be a very good at voice acting because I'm a nervous wrecker. Wrecker. I can be a nervous wrecker sometimes too. That's what I think is so great about voiceover though, right? I mean, you're just in a booth by yourself so nobody sees you being a nervous wrecker but you um okay will you do more live instagram videos maybe now that i know how to do it it's fun um sure how about that i will i will do more of these because i think that this is super fun um all right i was in codename kids next door yes i was in codename kids next door this was me see how we kind of look alike um, those prints look great. Thank you. Um, hi from Massachusetts. Hi, Massachusetts. Okay, let's sign this because I am getting distracted. Um, for Julian, please write Kids Next Door Rule. And I also want to say thank you so much for being a part of our childhoods. Julian, it was my pleasure. I absolutely loved doing this show. What my, my music ended. What should we listen to now? Should we listen to... Christmas classics, maybe? Alexa, play Christmas classics. Let's see what happens. The playlist, Christmas classics on Amazon Music. All right, let's see. Do you think it'll kick us off? Because I don't, my, <laughs> I was gonna say my friend Jeff Fisher, you guys all know Jeff Fisher. When he did one of these, he was like, oh my God, I get kicked off uh, Instagram Live because of music. I'm like, that would be ridiculous. Okay, Julian, kids next door rule. You better believe they do. For Julian. Kids next door rule. I guess I could be listening to my brother's Christmas album right now, right? I probably should have been doing, that would have been the supportive sisterly thing to do. But here we are.
to go riding in a one horse sleigh. There we go. Love it. Kids next door rule. They sure do. Okay, let's read some more. Um, who do I play on Family Guy? <laughs> everyone, everyone, literally. Like, whatever characters they throw at me, I play. Um, I'm doing a lot of, like, Alexas, and uh, I do a lot of computerized voices for them. I was... God, I've been Brian's girlfriend, Quagmire's girlfriend, Stewie's kindergarten teacher. I'm like woman number two in every single episode or mom or whoever they need. I'm in every episode, which is lovely. Um, um, great fan of my brother. This is so nice. You're a lovely individual. Thank you. Thank you. Um, do I plan on releasing any more records? I don't know. I'm not gonna say no to that. I'm not gonna say no. I'm not sure. I worked on Robot Chicken. Yes, I did. I've done a lot of Robot Chicken episodes over the years. Um, you and Seth have been showing us that siblinghood can be an exciting experience to the ones that never discovered it for the first time. Oh, thank you. Yes, I feel very lucky having him as a brother. Jeff Fisher. Um. Do you consider Odalia Blight to be pure evil? I don't think she's pure. I don't think anybody's pure evil, but she's pretty bad. She's pretty fun though. Villains are the most fun. Um, all right, here we go. What do we have now? This one's for Brian. Like your name, Brian. Um, no special instructions for Brian. I'm just gonna make it out to Brian for Brian. All right, for Brian, and do a little peace symbol, cause why not? All right, there you go, Brian, that's for you. Rachel. Will you tell the cast of Family Guy from 1999 to 2020? Wow. Oh, my goodness. Will I tell them what? Um, that you're a fan. They mean so much to you. That's thank you so much. We would not be doing what we do without you guys. Why does your voice sound like ASMR? I don't know. I don't think my husband thinks my voice sounds like ASMR. Um, Music Friday is good, too. Good. I'm glad you like it. Um, random females in cookie cutter clips on Family Guy. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. I just basically fill in wherever they need me. Um, all right. Um, Holly Lombardo artist. Okay. First of all, hi. Second of all, this woman is the most spectacular painter. I have two of her pieces in my house and she's phenomenal. Um, and I don't even know, Holly, if I even think that I have a unique talent. <laughs> the question is, when did you know that you had a unique talent? I think that, um, I don't know. I mean, I was a theater major in college. I was always on this track. And um, I don't know, I kind of just fell into it. You know, I was working in production at Cartoon Network and I thought, actually it was my brother of all people who said, you should give voiceover a try. So I was like, oh, all right, I'll do it. And I did it for the first time and I was like, oh, this is something I, I uh, I'm pretty good at, so I think I'll stick with it. It was a long time ago. All right, this is for, make it out to none. Okay, this is for none. Hello, none. Uh, N-O-N-E, not N-U-N. And she wants an Odalia. Or, or he, but they, they want an Odalia. And they wanted to say, could you please write from your favorite Mama Dahlia? Yes, I can. From your favorite Mama Dahlia. All right, nun. You're the best. You're the best. Wave. I like these little wave things too. I'm waving at you. Hi. Hi. I see you waving. Um, do I think number 362 has a crush on number one? Mm, make it so. 
number one is pretty cute. In what ways did Seth inspire you growing up? That's a really good question. I mean, he's super, super persistent, you know, and he's a super hard worker. So probably in the way that I just saw somebody work really hard and achieve their goals from hard work, you know, I mean, we didn't know anybody connected to anything. We grew up in a tiny town in Connecticut and he was able to get to where he is now truly just on, you know, just trying hard and making connections along the way. So it's pretty impressive. Um, let's see. Have you ever wanted to do a Christmas album? Yeah, yeah. If I ever did another album, it would probably be a Christmas album. I am a Christmas music whore. Let's call it what it is. Um, when you do Haley's voice, do you do it in a higher pitch? It's an interesting question. A little, slightly. I mean, she's 18, you know, so I do. I pitch her up a tiny bit, just a tiny bit. All right. Um, what was I doing? Could you please write from your favorite Mama Dahlia? Yes. <laughs> My husband just walked. Do you want to come say hi to Instagram Live? Uh, no. Here you are. <laughs> Everybody say hi to Spency. There's his top of his head. <laughs> All right. Um, from your favorite Mama Dahlia. There we go. He's still here, everybody. But he doesn't want to say anything. All right, here we go. From your favorite Mama Dahlia. You love our children's books. Thank you so much. He's funny too. Joining late, but I got a notification. Um, are oh, you? Yes. Okay. Oh no 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 no. Oh. oh wait. These now these are moving too fast. The person I signed the first one for said they just logged on. Someone says hi, Rachel's husband. Hi, Spencer. Well, isn't he just a ray of sunshine? Are you friends with Wendy Shaw? I am friends with Wendy Shaw. We have been working together forever. 19 years now, something like that. Um, all right. Wait, now I don't understand what's happening. What is happening? Hope you're having an amazing day. I am having an amazing day. Wait, I want to go back to the person that said that they just, oh yes, okay. Um, anime girl. I'm going to show you yours because it was the very first one that I did. There it is. See? And I'll even do the thing for you because you missed it. Girlfriend. Oh, no, no, no. That won't do. We'll find you a new girlfriend. One who isn't on wanted posters everywhere. There you go. All right. What are we on to now? Annie. Hi, Annie. If you're on, we're doing a... Haley for you, Annie. Um, no special instructions. So I'll just give you a peace sign. Um, good day, mate. Good day. How are you? Um, saying hi from New Hampshire. Hi, New Hampshire. <laughs> I just got the thumbs up from my husband. Mate must be doing an okay job. LOL, Spency. Guess what? You're coming to Pensacola. Wait, where did that go? There it is. You're going to Pensacola. Yay. Did you voice Eris? It, yeah, mm -hmm. I did. I'm actually signing an Eris next. Okay, let me do this. This is this one. Sorry if I'm going slow, you guys. I'm just getting kind of wrapped up in this whole process here. It's really fun. All right, for Annie. I love your name, Annie. There you go. Thanks for being an American Dad fan, Annie. All these years. All right, somebody said Billy and Mandy. Ah, look who we got. Eris, yes. Oh my goodness, did I love voicing Eris. She was so fun. 
Do I like Japanese foods? These are very interesting questions. In fact, I do. We just had sushi for dinner this evening. So there you go. Um, oh my God, now they're popping up so fast. Um, does my kid watch Family Guy in American Dad? My 14 year old does now. Um, they didn't before, but they do now. Um, do you record, oh my goodness, hold on. I wanted to read this one. Do you record voice lines on American Dad with the other castmates or separately? We record them separately. And that's not like a, you know, since the pandemic thing, that's just a how it, it always is. Um, we, we say we do it wild, that's what it's called. So you're just sort of reading the lines um, alone in the booth. Um, do I, <laughs> these are interesting questions. Do I want more kids? No, no, I do not want more kids. Uh, whoever you are, I am completely satisfied with my two. Um, all right, this beautiful Billy and Mandy heiress is for Grant McClellan. Hello, Grant McClellan. It's a great name. So for Grant McClellan, are you here, Grant McClellan? Um, and you don't want any special instructions. Um, because I was wondering if you wanted a quote like, I love the smell of chaos in the morning. That's such a good one. Um, will the kids get into showbiz or something completely different? Interesting question. It's all up to them, really. Totally up to them. Of course, they're both performers. Um, you know, what are you going to do? But we'll see. Um, my 14 year old is a spectacular artist, so maybe they'll go that way. All right, Grant. There you go. Um, you guys, I thought that this was like, I was like, oh, this is, I'll just sign them. And then I didn't realize we were gonna be able to having all these interactions and yeah, wow, okay. This is for Lori Courtney Bantel. Hello, Lori. I've got an Olivia for you. No special instructions either. <laughs> well, now you guys are just getting weird. Show your feet. I do have good feet. I'm not gonna pretend that I don't, but I'm not gonna show you my feet. It's like cold outside and I need a pedicure. All right, what else? Would you ever come to Toronto? Yes, I love Canada, love Canada. I would love to live in Canada. Do you sometimes work from home? I work from home all the time, all the time. I was in Johnny Bravo, yes. Johnny Bravo was my first job ever in 1999. Um, I was working as a PA on Johnny Bravo and I like begged the casting director uh, to give me a shot and she was kind enough to do it. Her name was Colette Sunderman. And yeah, I did a bunch of Johnny Bravo episodes. Um, okay, this one, hold on, let me sign this for Lori. I'm gonna do your whole name because you wrote it and it's a beautiful name. Lori Courtney. Can hardly wait for school to start again. I hope you guys like Christmas music. Um, no, don't ask a poor woman to show her feet. It's okay. Um, all right. What's my favorite Haley line from American Dad? Oh gosh, a bunch of you guys are asking this. Oh boy. I mean, there have been so many. It's hard to, it's hard to say. So many. Um, I loved the episode, the roller derby episode, um, where Steve and I got to sing that amazing song with Kristen Chenoweth, of all people. Um, I had some funny lines in that song, um, which I'm not going to sing right now because, as I said, I'm a little rusty, a little rocky around the edges with this cold. This is for Lori. Would you ever write your own show? I don't know. Maybe. Um, okay, this one is for Louise. Hello, Louise. Another Haley. Love it, love it, love it. I was Nina Crocker in Static Shock. Yes, that's a, 
that's a throwback. That was a long time ago. That's still on my on my animation reel too. I was listening to it. Um, but <laughs> somebody remembers that episode I was just talking about. Um, all right, I'll try. I'll try. My kids aren't down here, are they? No. Um, what was the line? I'll never. What is it? I'll never something something what I didn't know is that his bulge down there or is it camel toe that was like my favorite American dad Haley line because it was so funny um all right for Louise how are you Louise if you're on okay here you go. I love this song. Not my favorite version, if I'm being honest, but I really like this song quite a lot. Um, did I replace Kristen Chenoweth for Buddy the Elf's musical Christmas? Um, that's a crazy question and it's interesting because she was originally supposed to play Emily. Um, and wound up not being able to do the gig and I got cast in it instead. How do you know that? That's, that's fascinating little bit of information that you have there. Um, yes, I was in Winx Club, um, ages ago, ages ago. Um, thank you, Rachel, for signing my print from the UK. You're welcome. Thanks for joining us from the UK. Um, okay. This next one is for Christian, Amber, and baby girl, Eris Asensio. Did I pronounce that correctly? Beautiful names. Baby girl, Eris Asensio. Feel free to add your own special touch. Um, all right. I hope your night goes well, too. Thanks for, thanks for being with me, whoever's signing off. All right. This one... Bear with me now for all these names. Make it out two, four. Christian, Amber, and baby girl. Baby girl, heiress, great name. But yet I'm not signing. An heiress for heiress. All right. Here is this for all of you wonderful people. Did I put the number on the back? I did. Is it true in the pilot you are Meg? No, it is not true. That is an internet falsehood. One that has been around forever. <laughs> that is not true. Um, but I think I will be answering that question for my entire career. What is A? I mean, like, I hear about ASMR all the time. What is it? Like, you should do ASMR. I don't even know what that means. Um, oh, it screamed out loud when I saw you sign mine. Oh, my goodness. My pleasure. Am I ready for Christmas? I mean... Yeah, I'm ready for Christmas. I'm so type A. I've been ready for Christmas forever. Um, all right, this Haley is for Philip. Hello, quote, okay, suck my butt. Okay, okay, suck my butt. There you go, Philip. All right, for Philip. Philip with one L. I love Nat King Cole. Um, for Philip. Okay, suck my butt. Suck my butt. All right. There you go, Philip. ASMR is like when people speak quietly and tap on things. <laughs> Sorry, it disappeared too quickly. When people tap on things? What? I gotta go back. 
ASMR is like when people speak quietly and tap on things to make satisfying no noises. What the heck? Like, hi, I'm Rachel McFarlane, and this is your ASMR for the night. Is that ASMR? All right. Next, we have newborn heiress from Eris. Oh, let me find my heiresses here. Um, you love Nat King Cole too. Um, wait, what was this? Um, is it true Peter Griffin is your dad? No, Peter Griffin is not my dad. I mean, I guess technically Peter Griffin is my brother. Um, where's my heiress? They did an episode about ASMR and American Dad. Did they really? Oh, somebody said exactly like that. Okay, good. All right, there we go. So this is for newborn heiress from heiress. Two newborn heiress from heiress. All right. Oh my goodness, I have like eight more minutes. Wow, I did not think this was gonna go for an hour, you guys. I was like, how the hell am I gonna fill an hour? And it's it's been an hour. I think I just, I think, I think I like to talk. I think that's what we've learned from this experience together. All right, for newborn heiress. From heiress. <laughs> All right. I was just watching the news I don't think it's going to be a white Christmas. I'm so sad about that. I was really hoping we were going to get one. All right. There you go. What do you think? I love this picture so much. Welcome, newborn heiress. Um, all right. Seriously, why would you answer that question? I'm not sure who, what that was about. Um, it's close to 4 a.m. in Tanzania. Wow. Is this your first live? Yes, this is my first live. Um, okay, Gabe, you are getting my last Haley. So kudos to you. Um, could you add a Haley quote? Honestly, I can't think of any off the top of my head. So surprise me. Um, Jeepers, Gabe, are you on here? Because um, I could absolutely say... Um, is that his bulge down there or is it camel toe? That'd be kind of funny, right? Um, yes, Gabe says yes. Okay, cool. See, I'm getting the hang of it. Took an hour, but we got there. This is one of my favorites. I love this song. My dad sings like this. My father sounds like Andy Williams. Such a beautiful voice. Um, all right, Gabe, or is it camel toe? Never, never, uh, never written camel toe on a, on a print before You're the first. All right, Gabe, I think you're my last one. Mark is complete. There you go. Spectacular. Love it. Wow, you guys, this was super, super, super fun. Wait, I'm so different from how you imagined I'd be? How did you imagine I would be? Um, all right, I think, I think that's it. I've, I've signed all the things. I don't have anything else on here. Um, you guys have been spectacular. This was really fun. Um, thank you so much, seriously, for everybody being here. Um, I had a really good time. Let's do it again. And um, thank you so much, everybody, for, for um, ordering all these prints and just being awesome and um, supporting all this work that I've done for the last 25 years. Couldn't do it without you. All right, my loves. 